about my singleness and how I kind of overcame that feeling of, des of desperation. If you go on my blog, you'll see my story and kind of a very condensed version of it. I also put in kind of a couple things that I did um, to change that mindset. So I kind of want to talk about the steps that I took uh, to get to this point. I'm actually quite happy. I actually kind of like it. Let's start with the first thing. This one's actually very obvious, and the first thing is to change your mindset. It's very hard and it takes a lot of time, but if you stop thinking, oh, I need to be in a relationship, and start thinking, oh, look at all this time that I have, look at everything I can do, it kind of changes things. Number two is admit that you eventually want to be in, in a relationship. Just because you want to change your mindset about being happy about being single doesn't mean you don't want to be in a relationship, you don't want to eventually get married, you don't want to eventually have a family. It's just right now you are content with, you want to be content with where, with where you're at. Number three, one, two, three, is to surround yourself with single people. Alright, this is not for you to go off and search for the soulmate of your life or whatnot. It's basically to surround yourself with people that are at the same stage of their lives as you are in yours. So, for me, it took a while and sometimes the friends that are out there being desperate looking for people, they're usually the ones that end up leading you to that really close group of single friends. It'll honestly help you because all, all of you are going to be going through the same things, kind of like just being in the same place where you're all single, and it's not, honestly, it's not to pair off. You don't want to do that, at least if you're honestly serious about being content where you're at. I mean, eventually if the opportunity comes where it, you end up pairing off with one of your single friends, I mean, you know, whatever, cool. But if not, you know, don't be sad. Oh, I didn't find someone in this group. Uh, it's okay, trust me, you'll survive. Alright, four. Surround yourself with happy single people. Alright, there are going to be a lot of people who want, to, who are single but not necessarily happy. Don't be surrounded by them because then you're still going to, like, be miserable until you find someone. No, you don't want to be miserable, you don't want to feel desperate, you want, don't want to feel the pressure. Sometimes there are, you know, you surround yourself with single people, and you think they're happy, but really, like, just by talking to them, you're like, oh my goodness, this person cannot wait to be in a relationship. Don't do that. I mean, it's okay to have them as friends, but don't kind of put them in that group of circle where, where when you're feeling, like, lonely, or you just kind of want to hang out with, you know, non coupley friends, you know, not to include them because then they're going to be talking about the fact that they don't have a love life and that's really miserable to hear and to be a part of and to even feel. So always surround yourself with happy single people. And last but not least, number five, and I'm still very actively doing this, but it's honestly something that we should all do, and that is pray for your future relationships. Whether it's, you know, the next relationship you're in or the final, you know, relationship you're in where you end up getting married, building a family with that person, pray for them. Pray that they're, you know, happy where they're at and that's in the stage of their lives right now. If they are single and they're happy being single and they're just, you know, they know that at the end of the road, that person's going to be there, you know, that they're going to end up with. So, I mean... You do want you want to pray for that future spouse. It's something that's very important. At the same time, take the time to pray for what you want in that future spouse. Looks, characteristics, personality traits, family, you know, start praying for it. It's never too early. You know, just because you're content with being single doesn't mean that you don't want to pray for that future person that you are going to spend the rest of your life with. Uh, so, yeah, these are, I guess, five things you can do to, you know, get to that point of happiness. I hope this helps somebody, anybody, everybody, <laughs> because we do go through those periods of, like, where we're single and we're like, 
why isn't anyone after me? But you know what? It's okay. The right person will come soon and you'll be happy you waited. So, this is it. I don't remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. Everything's the same, okay? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, my except for my blog. My blog's the only thing that's different. And you can also email me.